Welcome to Foundations TV, everyone. We have a group of talented people here who are going to be performing in Shah Jahan, which is an upcoming show on September 27th through 29th. We hope to see all of you there. And uh, to get that excitement going, we have some youthful, some young uh, actors who are performing in the show. And we'll start by welcoming Priya to our uh, uh, interview today. Priya, I'd love to hear from you what role you are playing in Shah Jahan and uh, what is exciting to you about acting? Um, hi, um, I'm playing the role of Nadira, who's the uh, wife of Dara Shikon, who's the eldest son of Shah Jahan. Um, what I love about acting, so I got introduced to acting a year back when I started to volunteer for Setu. And so, you know, in college, you know, when you're growing up, you do so many things. Like I used to dance, you know, I would do other things, but I never attempted to act, even though I had the desire to. And so, you know, Setu actually, you know, with, the, with this opportunity, I, you know, had the, uh, you know, had the, had sort of a platform to, uh, you know, portray this side of me, sort of hone this side, which I always wanted to. Um, you know, it's, it, it just brings out a lot in me, you know, like, you know, just re remembering the dialogue, delivering it uh, on stage. There's a lot of, uh, you know, like stage fright I used to have. And it's sort of, you know, it's this, uh, you know, this has helped me to sort of conquer that. And I started uh, last year just volunteering, you know, ticketing with uh, Setu. And then I, I, I did, you know, I did a little part in Mahabharat last year. Um, and then, you know, I'm doing uh, this role. And I'm really excited about it because uh, it's a really, it's a contrasting role, uh, to, it's contrasting to my personality basically because, you know, Nadira is a very loving wife, very devoted and, you know, she has this sense of helplessness in the entire, uh, you know, the, the play. She wants something but she can't get it, you know, and I feel like, you know, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's a matter of that time, that period, you know, when men were supposed to sort of, you know, lead and they would be warriors, they would make the decisions and now it's so different. So it, it's challenging in that way, you know, because I, uh, it's just, it, it just, ha you know, I have to think differently, you know, for this I'm role. I'm sure, I'm sure, yeah. So yeah. it looks like you, it's been quite a journey for you coming from uh, no acting experience to coming on stage and uh, learning so much, not just about acting, but also about the character and growing oh, as yes, a person. Definitely. So that's excellent, excellent. So uh, that leads us right into what I would like to hear from Vihangi, who is another uh, new actress in this. Uh, this is the first time I believe you're acting? The very first time. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited? So I am excited. I am nervous, but um, I'm hoping that all my stage fright goes away because I've always wanted to do this. And um, I get this chance thanks to Subrato and Setu. So I am I'm really excited and I love the character I'm playing because it kind of is is my personality too. It's um I'm shown to be pretty strong will throughout the play and that's the kind of person I am. So thankfully I didn't have to do what she's doing, so then it makes it <laughs> makes it easier for me to act. What, what's it? the role if I may interrupt? I am uh, playing the role of Jaharat Unisa who is the who's uh, the daughter of Dara and Nadira. Excellent. And granddaughter of Shah Jahan. Yeah, so are you excited about the costumes and all the glory and the oh, glamour yes. associated with it? Absolutely. It was wonderful. my dream to be a princess. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And we also have, uh, you know, uh, just yeah. bring the mic over to uh, my left-hand side. We have Aditya who has performed before with Setu in Mahabharat. Watched you as Karan. And now, you, uh, you know, please share with us what role you're playing and how different is that from what you've done before. Right. So I got associated with Setu last year and I, uh, you know, got the role that I actually really like to play, which is uh, Karna. And th that's one character in the entire Mahabharata theology that I really, it's, it's very intriguing. So here it's, uh, I'm playing the role of Suleiman, who is Dara Shikau and uh, Nadira's son, uh, the elder son and Shah Jahan's eldest grandson. So the similarities in both the characters is that both Karna and Suleiman, the way I see it and why I read about it, are, are people who blindly follow ideologies and principles, extremely principled people, which apparently both in Mahabharata and in this play too, it doesn't really benefit them and they really are in the losing end of that. So that's, that's I think that was a very, uh, that was one particular attribute that was very similar uh, between both the characters. 
I, I love the depth with which you are analyzing the characters. That's, uh, and there's, of course, there's the other fun aspect of it, which I have seen in the rehearsal, where all the beautiful women are dancing in front of you. So share something about that, and how exciting is that for you? <laughs> Interestingly, that is the only one scene that is relaxed for me in the entire play. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I'm, okay. Either, I'm either in the war field or I'm actually trapped in the jail. So this, oh, these, I so just that's happened the, to see that one for yeah, when you were rehearsing. Yeah, that's the only inter entertaining so, scene. Yeah. It's, I think it's uh, it's at at the rehearsal st rehearsal stage right now. It's it's very hilarious because uh, you know I'm supposed to be mesmerized by these women, yeah. which I am because they're they're our, our troupe is actually doing a wonderful job with the dance and choreography. And then we have this uh, a scene where I'm trying to uh, repel one of the dancers, and it's it's funny when you're rehearsing it because there are long dialogues and things that we typically have not. Uh, at least uh, said <laughs> and it's it's funny because that's the only part where we we get to have some bit of a chuckle at the end of it at least for my role wonderful <laughs> wonderful so there is a lot of fun associated with uh, uh, rehearsing for such a serious uh, theme as well yeah. so excellent all right thank you and uh, welcome uh, you Sophie he is the youngest artist in the team and uh, that is I'm sure very very inspiring to anybody who is going to watch this video who is of your age as well as uh, children who would like to come and watch the show itself so uh, my question to you is what role you're playing and how is it working with all these grown-ups <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, uh, I play the role of Sapar, uh, the son of da son of Dara, and the grandson of Shah Jahan. And first of all, working with these people are really bad. Like they're ter they're ter no, 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 no. I'm, ju I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, these guys, these guys are awesome. They they've been so nice to me. And working with, I mean, I've done uh, school plays and school musicals and working with my kids my age and the, these guys their age it, it it's a huge maturity level but it's 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 great cuz i mean i can talk to different people i can learn to talk to adults and like uh, interact with them make new friends it, it's amazing here and like to all you kids out there i certainly suggest you come here and like sign up cuz it's a great opportunity so i love that i love that aspect of what you just said and is there something you is there an interesting incident that you would like to share with us that happened during rehearsals oh uh, well there was one scene <laughs> um uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll ask him to narrate it he knows, okay. he knows much better <laughs> all right um he he uh he looks in the distance and he's like sipar my brother and i do this <laughs> that, that's that my brother. Of exchange, <laughs> <actually>. so, uh, <laughs> we're trying to introduce that into the play. Okay. Uh, I don't know how Subrata is actually going to take it, but <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> you might be able to convince him to add that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great, great. Thank you so much for sharing all that. And uh, uh, Danishri, I think uh, I'll let you take the lead. And did you want to add to something? Uh, how uh, having Yusuf in the team? How what does that mean? And how oh, interesting it is. Of course, it's been very interesting, and um, it's 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 not at all like having a kid around because he can carry a conversation on anything under the sun, and just like adults, it's it's wonderful knowing him. And um, some of us actually have a plan to whenever we have kids to send to his mom to you know <laughs> <laughs> to to me. <laughs> No, no, do, do not send kids to my mom. That's a nightmare. No, no I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, great. So, uh, you know, um, coming to your role specifically, I have seen you perform um, as uh, Draupadi in Mahabharat. Such a serious, such an impactful role and um, such very, very beautifully portrayed, of course. So tell us something about your role in Shah Jahan and how it relates to uh, what your previous role was. Okay, so I am playing uh, the role of Queen Mahamaya. She is um, wife of uh, King Jaswan Singh. Um, and I think this role is very much similar to the role of Draupadi that I played earlier in Mahabharat. Um, I think they both had uh, similar challenges in front of them. They both loved their husbands very much, but they had this huge responsibility to make their husbands aware of what mistakes they're making and at the same time inspire them, at the same time motivate them to do the right thing. And um, all this time there is this underlying expression of unconditional love. I think that was very complicated for me to learn, um, you know, at the time of Mahabharata. And um, that was a great growth for me as a person, I think, and the growth continues. 
in this role. Beautiful, beautiful. So uh, from what I hear, uh, you know, by talking to each one of you, this journey has been a give and take. You are putting in so much energy, uh, is your youthful energy into this whole process. And you're also getting a lot of, uh, um, you know, learnings from this. You're maturing from this process and you're learning a lot about different characters and there's a depth in each and every character. So it looks like each one of you have put in time and effort to learn mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, somehow implement it in your lives later on sometime. Uh, so this has been a great, uh, great chatting with all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks, Asan. Yeah.